The President, please be seated. Le Président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. L'audience est ouverte. Court officer is now instructed to call Huissier d'audience. Witness TCW 583 into the courtroom. TCW 583 à venir dans le prétoire. The President, Court Officer, could you please move uh, the console a little bit further to the left or the right so that uh, witness may see the red light when the mic is activated? Good afternoon, Mr. Witness. Today you are here before us to give testimonies. And before we proceed to the session, the chamber would like uh, to give some instructions to you concerning how you respond to questions. And at the court, here, as you may be familiar, we use three languages, English, Khmer, French. Your statement will always be rendered into another or two other Donc, languages. So when you address any question, you are supposed to pause a little bit in order for the interpreters Donc, to render your statement fully. The chamber has already worked with with the technicians and that uh, you are not supposed to press any button. You only need to respond to the uh, question when you see the red light uh, is on the mic. So please be mindful that uh, do not respond to any question yet if you haven't seen the red light. Before we proceed to the substantive Questions. Avant the chamber would like uh, to ask a few questions concerning your background. What is your name? Response. Good afternoon, Mr. Réponse. President and your honors. Bonjour, Monsieur le Président, Mesdames et Messieurs les Juges. My name is Sa Kim Lemot. Je m'appelle Sa Kim Lemot. Should I also proceed uh, to my birthday? Do I, I was born in 1931 in, en in Chuk District, Kompot dans province. District de Chuk, dans la province de Kompot. The President. Le Thank you. Do you Je use any other names other than Sa Kim Le Mut? In particular, during the revolution time between 1970 to 1975 and 1979. Response, I also have another name. They called me Mi. 
On m'appelait Mi. The president, thank you. Where do you Le live? Le président, merci. Où habitez-vous? Response, I live Réponse. at house number 42. J'habite au numéro 42. At uh, Psadamco Tulkok. Psadamco. Dans la ronde Question, de what is your father's name? Question, comment Response, père? he is Rod Sokun. Question, what is your mother's name? Question. Response. Quel est le nom de votre mère? She is Réponse. Nyok Sakun. Son nom est Nyok Sakun. Question. What is your wife's Question. name? Question. Comment s'appelle votre épouse? Response. She is Réponse. Uk Samal. Elle s'appelle Uk Samal. Question. How many Question. children do you have? Combien d'enfants avez-vous? Response. Réponse. I have four children. J'en ai quatre. The president. Thank you. Mr. Sarkum Lamut, according Merci. to the report, Monsieur the greffier of the trial chamber, you are not related to any parties to the proceedings, including the civil parties and the three accused persons in this case. Is the report correct? Au dossier. Est -ce exact? <coughs> Response. Yes, it is, Réponse. Your Honours. Oui, c'est exact, uh, mesdames et messieurs. The President. The Greffier le has président. already indicated that you have you have taken an le oath. Le a indiqué que vous avez déjà within this court, uh, the oath you took on the 21st of May 2012. Is that true? Le 25 mai 2012. Est -ce, est -ce exact? Response. Yes, it is. Réponse. Oui, en effet. The president, thank you. Now the chamber Merci. would like uh, to inform you your rights and duties before Nous this chamber. Vous As a witness before this chambre, chamber, en tant que témoin, you can refuse to respond to any questions that are self-incriminating. À toute you have the right qui not to incriminate yourself. Vous avez le droit de ne pas vous And at the same time, the chamber would like uh, to also en inform temps, you of your obligation as a witness. De vos you shall respond to all questions put uh, by the parties. Vous devez répondre à except toutes les uh, responding to the questions that are believed to be self-incriminating. As a witness, you shall only talk about the truth, en tant que nothing témoin, but the truth. Vous ne devez dire you shall tell the court, based on your experience, what you have witnessed. Vous allez what you saw à la chambre sur la base de votre propre expérience ce que vous avez observé do you understand et this ce dont vous avez été témoin comprenez-vous response yes i do réponse oui je le comprends the president thank you le président merci next the chamber would like to hand over Ensuite, to the prosecutors to put questions Je donne la parole to à the witness before other parties. Qui pourra interroger le témoin avant les autres parties. Mr. Wayne Pratt. Thank you, Mr. President. Good afternoon, Your Honours and my learned colleagues Bonjour, and parties to the proceeding. Good afternoon, Bonjour, les Mr. Witness, and people bonjour, in the public gallery. Et bonjour au public. I may introduce myself. I am Wayne Hort from the Office of Co-Prosecutor. Do you hear me? Je fais partie du bureau des co-procureurs. Est-ce que vous m'entendez? Response. 
Yes, I do. Réponse. Oui, je vous entends. I have a few questions to put to you. The first question concerns the local structure of the CPK and the process how people were inducted into the party. Et le processus d'adhésion au parti. How did you come to know the Khmer Rouge movement? Comment avez-vous connu le mouvement Rather, when Khmer did you Rouge? come to know the Khmer Rouge Ou movement? plutôt, à quel moment l'avez-vous connu Response. I don't remember the exact date, but it is sometime during the Sangkum Rihnium regime. C'était pendant le régime de Sangkum Rihnium. Question. Question. How were you introduced into the Khmer Rouge movement? Comment êtes-vous rentré au sein du mouvement des Khmer Rouge? Response. Réponse. I was introduced to the movement uh, through my friends. We would uh, gather Je, in some meetings before we joined the movement. Nous avons Question. assisté à quelques réunions avant de rejoindre le mouvement. Were you Question. introduced into the movement in the public or were you told uh, this information secretly? Est-ce qu'on vous a présenté le mouvement Response. en public I ou were, euh, I was de told about this secretly. Réponse. On m'en a parlé de façon confidentielle. Question. Question. When you were introduced uh, secretly into the movement, uh, had you ever been called to the meeting? connaître confidentiellement ce mouvement, uh, Est-ce qu'on vous a convoqué à assister My à des apologies, réunions? My uh, apologies, Mr. President, uh, says uh, the witness. Indeed, uh, we had uh, some meetings Mes excuses, Monsieur le with Président. our acquaintance, and the uh, meeting could be convened. Il y avait des réunions. Uh, on pouvait convoquer des réunions. Question. Where Question. were the meetings convened? Où se tenaient ces réunions? Response. Réponse. I remember that uh, the meetings uh, were held at somebody's home. Je me it, it souviens que les réunions se déroulaient chez rotated, and I don't remember the date or the year of that meeting. C'est un endroit qui changeait à tour de rôle. Je ne me rappelle pas les dates Question. de ces réunions. Who introduced Question. you into the Revolution. Qui vous a fait entrer dans la révolution? Response. I don't remember Réponse. the people's name, but again, the, there were meetings, and people in the meeting would convince uh, us to join the movement. I don't remember the detail of uh, the names of those Je ne people. Me pas des noms de ces Question. Personnes. Were you ever told the reason to join the revolution? Vous a-t-on expliqué les raisons Response. Euh, de rejoindre la révolution? I was told that uh, there was problem in, the in the society On y avait and that uh, people were needed to help improve the society 
to eradicate et on avait corruption, de gens qui for example. Aider à améliorer la société et éradiquer la corruption, par exemple. Question. During your Question. early time when you joined the revolution, were you ever advised début, or asked to prepare your biography? Vous a-t-on demandé de préparer votre biographie? Response. No, I Réponse. was not. Non, on ne me l'a pas demandé. Question. I may go back a little bit. When you said Question. you attended meetings, Vous dites avoir were the self-criticism sessions already convened back then? Y avait déjà des Response. À cette At the beginning, Réponse. I think uh, there were no such uh, self-criticism sessions. Il me semble qu'il n'y avait pas de réunion d'autocritique. Sure, uh, Je such criticism pas session was not sûr, in existence mais yet. ces séances d'autocritique n'existaient pas à cette époque, me semble-t-il. Question. Question. I would move closer to this. In the situation when you joined the revolution at the beginning, what contribution had you made to début, the Revolution. Qu'avez-vous contribué à la révolution? First, says uh, the witness, I did not uh, contribute much to the revolution. Au début, je n'ai pas contribué grand chose à la révolution. Question. Question. Could you tell the court uh, until which year that you began to contribute? Uh, Financially, dire à la Chambre à partir de quelle année revolution. vous avez commencé à contribuer financièrement au mouvement révolutionnaire Response. Réponse. In 1950s, when I had some work to do at uh, various places, for example, 50, at the train station and at the bank, I could manage to contribute uh, some money to uh, the movement. À la station ferroviaire ou, par exemple, à la banque, euh, Question. je pouvais contribuer financièrement When did you start working at the bank? au mouvement. Question. Quand est-ce que vous avez commencé à travailler à la banque? Response. It Réponse. was in 1993 or 1994. In the en 1994, before that, I worked at the train station, and I also had worked as um, a professor before I became the train station worker or staffer. Question, what position did you hold at the bank? Quelles étaient vos fonctions au sein de la banque? Response. At the Réponse. beginning, after some like six months of training, I was appointed début, the head of the branch of the bank in Sihanoukville. Je suis Later on, I de was sent to be trained in France Par for a few suite, months on a en at a bank en in France. When I returned, I worked as the head of the credit unit the Je unit uh, where loan could be um, offered to people. Qui proposait des prêts. Question. When you became Question. the head of credit unit, who was your vous immediate supervisor? Du service du crédit, qui était votre supérieur immédiat? Immediately above me Réponse. was Mr. Chao Sao. Monsieur he was Chao sent from the National Bank of Cambodia. Par la Banque Nationale du Cambodge. Question. 
Question. When you were working as the head of credit unit, were you authorized to allocate loans uh, to other individuals? Response. Credit unit was a task uh, to analyze the supporting documents and application for loan, and then we refer uh, to the uh, supervisor uh, to uh, approve. We, I did not have the approval authority as to what loan could be made uh, to others. Uh, we simply uh, forward the proposal to the upper authority. Question. You said uh, that you had contributed some fund uh, to the Khmer Rouge resistance forces, and I would like to know uh, whether or not you had contributed to any individuals who may uh, eventually supported the underground forces at that time. Did you know anyone who was from the Khmer Rouge uh, forces that you have facilitated the loan or financing for, for them? No, there was none of them. Un soutien financier quelconque Thank à des membres you. du Crémer Rouge. Réponse, non. The president. Le président. National co-prosecutor should uh, be more focused when you put the question, making sure that the question is relevant to the alleged fact in the relevant portion of the closing order. Alleged. If the question deviates from the alleged facts in the closing order, it may not be conducive and, uh, to the proceeding. Of course, uh, at this uh, stage of the proceedings, the historical backgrounds of the Khmer Rouge and democratic Cambodia was useful at uh, the period that happened before 19, 17 April 1975 because it concerned with the historical background of the Communist Party of Cambodia. And the most relevant facts under the jurisdiction of the ECCC was the uh, temporal jurisdiction of the ECCC uh, from the uh, 17th of April 1975 to the 6th of January 1979. Uh, and this was clearly indicated in the severance order. Uh, and we are now dealing with case 002 Qui concerne ce and procès we 002 have already set the parameters La a déjà for the les et les pour discussion of those relevant facts. So please uh, be advised uh, that the questions should be pertinent. more focused and relevant plus to the et vous alleged facts in the closing order. Dans de Otherwise, we will intervene and interrupt Sinon, the uh, testimony of the witness. And, and we, from time to time, will instruct the witness not to answer to the question um, in order to ensure that we are making the most use of the court time. Nous assurer que la procédure soit la plus efficace possible. The President. Prosecutor, please activate your mic. Prosecutor, now I would like to focus on the administrative aspect. Did you ever hear about liberated zones? Response, yes, I did. Question. Question. 
what was the administrative structure like in the in in those liberated zones? Nous nous décrire zones. dans ces zones libérées. The president, Le court président. officer, is now instructed uh, to arrange the microphone before the witness. Make sure that the microphone is put right in front of him. However, uh, the console itself should be turned aside so that he can see the red light before he answers the question. Co-prosecutor may continue now. Le procureur, Le vous pouvez poursuivre. Prosecutor. Le procureur. Concerning the means of communication. Sur le sujet des moyens Rouge. de communication. Resistance forces. You said that there Les was an de underground communication vous dites line. So euh, did they use what, what form of communication did they mobilize? Did they use Quelle messenger, for example? De communication. Les, les employés-ils des messagers, par exemple Respond. I find it a bit difficult Je, to answer to this question. Pour moi de répondre à votre question. I do not know whether or not uh, you wanted to ask me about si uh, the, uh, the resistant forces uh, communication line, or you were asking me about my communication parler. line back in my office. De When you talk about underground forces, it was, was it clandestine. concerned with the period with which I worked at the bank? Que cela a voir avec la la que à la banque? Prosecutor, I would like to ask about the Khmer Rouge resistance forces, because I would Resistance like to know whether or not at that time the Khmer Rouge had si messenger who routinely communicated with you. Communi avait des non, avec vous. no, Réponse. the system of non. messenger did not exist Le yet at that de time. Pas encore à Question. Question. Now I turn to the roles of the Khmer Rouge leaders. Did you know the uh, name? Did you know Kiu Sampon, Pol Pol, Yung Sari, and Nguyen Chi and their revolutionary names? Response. I knew them, but I cannot confirm that je what I heard was correct, mais je ne sais pas si because there was an uh, introduction by others at that time, but there was no formal introduction as to what formal name Kyusun Pon bore at that time. And in addition, in that movement, I was not uh, within the leadership rank. So my de, task was at a lower level. Other important task was handled by those who were in the upper structure. But the names of those uh, three individuals were heard. But later on, even in the international arena, their names were also mentioned. I once again cannot confirm that that was correct. Question. So, how did you hear about their names? There was nothing specific about what I heard about their names. Question. Je rien entendu de particulier Leaders, à propos de ces noms. Pol Pot, Kyu Sampon, Ying Sari, Pot, Yang and Nguyen When they held meetings in 1975, Question. did you ever Lorsque attend meetings with, with them? Lorsque ces personnes ont eu des réunions en 1975, avez-vous eu des réunions avec, avec, avec elles? Response, no, I non. never attended Je any meetings with them. Je n'ai jamais participé à des réunions avec ces personnes. Now I would like to move on to Question. the administrative 
issue and logistic affairs. Did you ever hear the word office before 1975? Response, no, I never heard of it. Question. Question. Did you ever hear about a code number, a secret entendu? code number, a seventy? D'un code secret, d'une chiffre huit cent soixante-dix. No, I never heard Réponse. of it. No. Question. How about Office seventy-one? Qu'en est-il du bureau Respond. 71? I did not. Hear about it either. No. Question. Now I move on to the general Question. policy of the democratic Cambodia before 1975. Did you ever hear the word absolute revolutionary? L'expression révolutionnaire absolu. Response. No, I never heard of it. Réponse, non. How about the question? Word three ton. Qu'en est-il de l'expression trois tonnes? Did you hear about it? Avez-vous entendu parler de ces trois tonnes? Mais ta honnête flop bleu. Respond. Réponse. I heard this word three times, but it was when the Khmer Rouge came to power. Question. So what was it referred to when they said three times? Response. Three tons is referred to the production yield. We had to accomplish three tons per hectare. Thank you. Did you know Le Van Rit Merci. before 1975? Van Rit. Van Rit. Response. Réponse. Yes, I did. Oui. Van Rit name. Oh, Van Rit name. What means? Question. What sort of activities did Van Rit do with the Van Nol administration? During Van Nol regime, he was a banker. He worked in one of the state-owned bank. Il travaillait dans une des banques d'État. But before the Khmer Rouge uh, came to power, uh, he left. He took refuge in the forest. Question. Did you know the reason why he fled? Response. I did not know the reason back then, but later on I learned that at that time, Lonel officers wanted him, but I did not know the detailed reason, but after that I did not see him anymore. I stay on this topic, on general policy. Question. They mentioned the enemy Je of the revolution. Who were those enemies referred to? Were they the Lonel officer and administrators? Response. I could not provide a clear-cut answer Réponse. to that. 
because at that time they only mentioned lonol lonol but i don't je know what vous une uh, à they on specifically refer to i don't know whether or not they targeted uh, individuals or they refer to for example lonol soldiers or individuals working in the administration of lonol de lonol ou des fonctionnaires Question. travaillant pour son gouvernement je ne saurais dire avec précision Question. Officers were against the Khmer Rouge forces. Is that correct? Les forces de l'ONU étaient contre les forces Khmer Rouge. C'est exact. It's a bit challenging answering that question. Réponse of course, uh, I think it's de répondre à votre question. But they were against. Évidemment the Khmer Rouge forces, Ils because they were fighting against each other, so Rouge, they must have some deux. contradiction, Donc, but as for the detail of or the depth of the matters, I cannot conflit, speculate. Je ne faire de so by contradicting against the other party, we mean that uh, they were considered the enemy Et of the revolution, is that correct? Question. Par contradiction, s'ils étaient en contradiction oui, avec euh, ces forces, on pourrait considérer qu'ils étaient des ennemis de la révolution, n'est-ce pas I cannot really define the term clearly. But when the Khmer Rouge came to power, those who were against uh, the regime were considered the enemies of the revolution. So Lonel soldiers and officers were being considered enemy because they were against the regime. Question. So back then, uh, those who were considered dissidents uh, were they confined to Lonol soldiers or any other groups? Response, I cannot explain on that issue. Je ne saurais dire. Question, how about Question. the exploiting power or authority? Did you ever hear of the term? Exploitant. Response, yes, I did. Réponse, oui, j'en ai entendu parler. During the democratic Cambodia uh, period, exploiting authority, what, what Et sous le Cambodia démocratique. was it like? À quoi cela faisait-il référence Exploiting réponse. power refer to the predecessor regimes which exploited the people. Qui le le robot Question. You say it, it referred to the previous regime. Did they refer to the civil servant in the Lonol administration? Can you elaborate on, on it? Response. I cannot explain it clearly. Because the leaders had their clairement. own political perception, Les leur and I did not know what their political perception line, line or perception was. Cette question. I have another question on question. this subject matter. Did you ever hear the word contemptible traitor? Avez-vous déjà entendu? L'expression méprisable traite. Response. Yes, I did. Oui. The so-called question. Contemptible. C'est traitor. Méprisable traître. Did they refer to any particular group of people? 
une expression que l'on emploie pour faire référence à un groupe de personnes particuliers. Réponse. I cannot answer that question. Je ne peux répondre à votre question. 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 You said just now that you had heard of the word contemptible traitor. Tout juste de dire que vous avez How déjà did entendu l'expression méprisable traître. Learn about this word. Comment l'avez-vous entendu? Response. I Réponse. cannot recollect because the pas. event took place over 30 years ago. Cela à il y a plus I de 30 ans. cannot recall who said what exactly at that time. A dit quoi à I Question. stay on this topic again. Had you, uh, did you ever hear about Outside the rank and inside the rank. Response. I never heard of it before. Thank you. So now I move on to the next topic on educational policy on the party ideology. Notre sujet, la politique d'éducation en matière d'idéologie du parti. When you first joined the Communist Party of Kampuchea, were you indoctrinated? If so, what did they Kampuchea indoctrinate you? Avez-vous participé à des uh, séances d'endoctrinement? Okay. Okay. They, at that Réponse. time, indoctrinated the Mac Lenin ideology. Dans Question: Did they? Question. Provide you any materials, uh, hard copy Vous materials for you uh, to read and comprehend it, or did they simply give a talk about that subject matter? Response. It was an oral presentation or lecture. We never received hard copy materials. Question. Question. Who was the trainer? Et qui était votre instructeur? Response. I cannot recall his name. De son nom. In relation Question. to education, did you ever hear? about the revolutionary flag or Dans le cadre de the revolutionary youth magazines. Des magazines révolutionnaires ou jeunesse révolutionnaire? Respond, no, Réponse. I never heard no. of them. Je n'en ai jamais entendu. I would like to ask you one more question about the fundamental rights of the citizen. Did you ever, did you ever hear the word elimination of private property and ownership? Did, were you ever trained or introduced any policy of eliminating private ownership? Respond, no, I never heard of it. Réponse, non. Question. Question. How about another word, the, that, uh, the word which says we did not agitate the private ownership? Qu'il ne fallait pas... Before 1975, I did not privée. hear about that Réponse. term, but Bien after 1975, I did hear it. Mais après 1975, oui, j'en ai entendu parler. Can you explain uh, the word individual ownership? 
Can you ex la can, can you explain what uh, it was referred to? Was it referred to private ownership, such as the ownership of cattle, television sets, exemple, bicycle, or so? Du, du bétail, mm -hmm. des têtes de bétail, des télévisions, des bicyclettes. A response. Réponse. Yes, yes, you are correct. Private oui. ownership refers to those cela. items, the items that belong to individual persons. Des biens qui appartiennent à une personne. Question. Concerning this same topic of fundamental rights as Toujours citizens, sur le sujet des droits fondamentaux des citoyens, did Anka instruct that people set aside their own properties and put it in a collective use. Ah, donner instruction au peuple de mettre, de renoncer à ces Response. There was no bien personnel et de such le remettre à la collectivité. Réponse. Instruction, Il a pas but in practice, we did see Dans that pratique, farmers who had their own properties, for example, cattle, Buffaloes, then uh, they would de bétail, give it to the uh, collectives in order to use it as common properties. Question. 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 When you first joined the revolution, did Quand you receive any instruction that you must be honest to the people, you must not steal not even a single chili from the people? Ne pas voler, ne seul chili, uh, Réponse. Response. At first, I did not hear such instruction, uh, because at that time we were considered telle, intellectuals, Nous au début so they never des bothered to Donc, uh, advised or instruct us on small minor issue like chili and stuff like that. Sur des aussi que les but later on, I heard about such instruction. But plus once tard, again, I was among the intellectuals, so plus, moi, je uh, there was no such instruction or advice. Je pas reçu de Question, did you hear about the Question. children brigade? Have you heard about the brigade of Response. Response. I indeed used to hear about that effet, and these uh, units uh, entendu exist. Unité, uh, Question. Entendu what, de ces what were these children asked to Question. do? Et que demandait-on uh, à ces enfants? Response. Que devait-il faire? I can only talk in my Réponse. capacity uh, that I was Je engaged in the cooperative I worked in. A group of uh, children would be uh, put to work. Les enfants but I don't know in, uh, whether it happened elsewhere. Mais je ne sais pas si cela Question. I would like Question. to seek your clarification. The mobile, uh, the oui, children vous, mobile vous units uh, were meant to les put children to work. Is that correct? Servait justement à mettre les enfants au travail. Est-ce exact? Response. Réponse. I think that's that's the actual meaning of it. Oui, je pense que uh, but everyone had to work. Objectif. Mais tout le monde devait travailler. But the children would uh, be put together On separately from the adults. Dans un groupe euh, différent des adultes. Young kids would be allowed to come and stay with Les their parents at night, but during the daytime they had to go nuit, to work altogether. Le, le jour, ils aller travailler en groupe. Question. My next question is about the military. Question. Maintenant vous poser and des questions the sur right, the, euh, the fundamental les, right of the people. Et les droits fondamentaux. Have you ever heard that the soldier ever got injured? Avez-vous jamais oh, entendu it? parler de soldats blessés? Response. With regard to the army, Réponse. I do not think I have anything to do with this. 
and I have no knowledge about it. But I can say that uh, the army engaged in fighting, and in such fighting, I believe there could have been some injured people. Possible que des gens aient été blessés. Question. Do you know anything about the marriage arrangement, for example, when women uh, were made to marry the injured soldiers? Respond. No, I do not know anything about this. Question. What about the marriage Question. during the Khmer Rouge regime? Can you tell us what you witnessed about the marriage? Que vous avez Response. Les mariages. Apart from the small cooperative I was in, Réponse. I would not be able to tell you about others. Question. I would like now to proceed to another question concerning religion. Je passe maintenant à une autre question concernant la religion. The president interrupts. Uh, Mr. Co-prosecutor, you may pause now because it is now appropriate time for today adjournment. The chamber will adjourn and the next session will be resumed tomorrow at 9 a.m. Pour reprendre demain à 9 heures. Parties and the public should be informed that the chamber continues hearing the testimonies of Mr. Saw Kum Lamotte. The questions continue to be put by the prosecutor. Mr. Saw Kum Lamotte, we have just begun to hear your testimonies and they are not yet uh, finished so you are invited to come to the court again at 9 a.m. to give further testimonies and uh, duty counsel for Mr. Sarkum Lamotte is also invited to come to the courtroom tomorrow to assist him during the course of his testimony. Court officer is now instructed to coordinate with the West unit to ensure that uh, Mr. Sarkum Lamotte can be returned to his uh, place and that he can be returned to the courtroom uh, by 9 a.m. tomorrow for testimonies. Security personnel are now instructed to, uh, to bring all the three accused persons to the detention facility and have them return to the courtroom before 9 a.m. In the case of Mr. Ying Zari, if he still shows his clear position that he would like to be excused from the courtroom and ask that he be allowed to observe the proceedings from his holding cell through his waiver in writing before the commencement si of uh, tomorrow's session, the chamber will allow him to only La be brought uh, to his holding cell where the AV audio equipment are linked so that he can observe proceedings from the cell. The court is adjourned.